Welcome back to the channel, and this is going to be a doozy of an episode because we are looking at the best creations of the entire year to ultimately determine the single best creation of Trailmakers in 2023. So in this episode, I have to look through every single winner from every single build challenge of 2023, and then I've got to select my top three favorites. And a bunch of other creators basically have the same task. And we're going to see who's made it into the most people's top picks and ultimately come to a conclusion on the best creation. Now, I have not looked at any of these yet, and I am probably not going to be showing every single one in the video, but I will be looking at every single one and then editing down the video to be something that is makes sense. <laughs> but let's just get started. So uh, these are in a weird order because of just how the folder numbering works. So I'm not going in order of the year. I'm just going in order of left to right. So for the new blocks challenge, we have two winners. This is Blueprint by Karza Star. And I remember seeing this one. I don't think, I don't know if I've actually used it myself. No, I don't think I've used it myself because that felt amazing. And I... I feel like I would have remembered that feeling. Uh, maybe I did though. It's hard to, it's been a long year, okay? This is crazy. And I'm, so, I'm certain this had a name before, but look at the head. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, the head is getting a little bit stuck on the way back. Oh, there we go. Now the, the head got back the way it was supposed to and it automatically hovers itself as well. Oh, is that supposed to, oh. Oh, I, oh, the missiles come out of the side of the head like that. We've got weapons as well. And I think bombs dropped. Yes, bombs did drop. This has everything. All right, so up next for the new blocks uh, category is the F-35B by Sebi3000F. I think one is VTOL mode, two is to hover. Oh, oh, this is really well done. F-35B. Okay, I think for the new blocks, I think the new blocks at this time were the airborne blocks with the flap wings and stuff. All right, so now let's switch over to the non hover. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. And then of course we got guns and bombs. Oh wait, the bombs actually like, there's a bomb bay that drops them too. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Oh my goodness. That was kind of amazing. The way it like automatically slowed itself down as it got to the ground. That was awesome. All right, up next is Diorama. So first up here by Slim Shammy, Diorama 2023. What? This is crazy. Whoa. It's like cyberpunk. There's so much detail in this. And this is, I think, before the Greebles existed. This is awesome. All right. I, it's going to be so hard to choose a top three. Whoa, look at the monorail. Oh. <gasps> How did you even do that? Where I can't find any of the five pigs. Oh, I found one. There we go. There's one of the five pigs. Ah, oh, there's a pig on the roof. Look at the, the helicopter. Oh, this has too many details. I'm gonna take way too long looking at this. This one, like, this is a strong front runner. Already, I mean, it. I still have like 40 more to go, but this is a strong front runner. The detail is unparalleled. I don't think I've seen that much detail compacted into a single creation. That's amazing. All right, up next is the Saturn V diorama by Pixelotl. All right, here it is. So apparently there's a sensor. There it is, and that's gonna activate it. Oh, look at the uh, the moving platform tank thing. All right, stand in front of that, and then this is a move. It. Oh, look at it. it's moving. It's moving across the ground. That's pretty cool. All right, then it breaks away. <laughs> Sorry, it was the it was the rocket exhaust, and. Off it goes. Is it going to hit the mountain? That'd be pretty epic if it hits the mountain. Wait, is it... Is it going to hit the mountain? Wait, oh, oh. I don't even know what happened. Okay. I hope that's not how Saturn V rocket normally goes. Okay, next category is vegetables. That is such a random category. All right, so we have a totally normal giant pumpkin by Lucrum. Ah, yes. Normal pumpkin. Uh, number one. Oh, here we go. Oh, no way. Oh, no way. No way. That is really awesome. That is so cool. All right. Well, that was impressive. That was like a really creative idea as well. All right. And then up next is Corn on the Cobter by Lighty. 
may seem like a normal field of corn, but trust me, it isn't. All right, so we got your, just your average looking cornfield. Nothing suspicious about this corn at all until we press left out. And then we reveal it wasn't a cornfield at all. It was a, uh, a heli corn -ter. Look at this. And then we can even drop our corn bombs, which don't explode on the water. That was a terrible spot to drop them. And we have a cannon. Helicorn -ter. Helicorn -ter. That I don't know what I'm saying. Copter. Corn on the copter. That's what it is. <laughs> Okay, the next category is Nintendo. Contains two blueprints. So we've got Remote Control Donkey Kong by Hugsy. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, this is to go. I can control this. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at the controller. Look at the control. It controls the Donkey Kong. The Donkey Kong walks. Look at the DK tie. That's great. Oh, I can't stop. I'm sorry, Donkey Kong. And then, oh, there we go. I can, there we go. Snap. Do the switch snap sound. Well, that is remote control Donkey Kong. That is that is a super unique creation. All right, and then up next, we have uh, this by Epic Doodle. It looks like a Bowser Mario Kart. Oh, it's got the shells. Oh, can we throw them at Donkey Kong? Hey. Ah, we actually did some damage. Toss this one behind. Oh. Oh, and then we've got a rainbow trail as well. When we press space. That's great. All right, up next is Star Wars only contains a single blueprint it's by Strelizia XX. The Venator Class Republic Star Destroyer. This thing has maximum complexity. And here it is. This thing looks pretty cool. There we go, space to go forward. So this was definitely made before the space update. Oh man, this thing is so stable though. All right, and then, oh, there we go. We got the side guns and then the front guns and and yeah, and then we've got the crash uh, button, <laughs> which is let scrap man fly it. <laughs> okay, the next category is heads. All right, we got Frankenbra head test rig by what D H three L L. And oh, whoa, that face looks so good. The nose is so well done. And we gotta activate the sensor. Now the reactor has been active. Whoa, oh, I just noticed the bullet hole in the forehead. All right, now. Oh, now we can actually control it. This is, this is actually pretty cool. The reactor itself is like really cool as well. Are these different expressions? Oh, you sad. Okay, that looks familiar. And then we can look to that side and then, oh, that's a weird face. All right, well, that was actually super unique as well. Okay, up next is Head Set by Scumbanan11. So this is a clever take on the head category. So this is just, it's just a gamer headset here. Look at it, it actually, oh, it's got, it's got the RGB lights. It's got the microphone, the gamer mic. And of course it hovers and flies. And it's got music. I've lost part of the build. And then I think it has a rage quit button. You do not want that sound playing directly into your ears on your headphones before they explode. Okay, up next is animals. Why are there three in this one? This is Spidey Bites Ro Roach Coach, also by H3LL. Oh, this is cool. Whoa, this actually walks really smoothly. Oh, we got to look at the interior too. Look at the stoves and cooking and everything. Oh, and it even has a drink dispenser. Hold on a second. That drink dispenser looks legit. Look at that. The decal, attention to detail on the decal, like makes it look so good. Oh, there's pizza in the oven. There's hot dogs and stuff. This is, there's so many good details in this one. Oh, whoa. That is a brilliant use for those sales. All right, up next in the animals is Tommy the T-Rex by Super I. All right, apparently we press V to roar. <laughs> Look at the teeth. All right, and we can walk. This is pretty well done. Look at the little floppy arms. Oh, the floppy arms are, that, that's, that is the best part of this build. No, 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 ah. Okay, up next is Metal Burgie's Condor Crow. I don't, I may have seen this one. Oh, that's great. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. All right, uh, left shift. Oh, it, it it has a caw. Oh, look at that, we're soaring now. Now that we've like reached a certain altitude or speed. Interesting. Let's try to land this thing. Oh, I think it actually has a landing animation. Hold on, I need to actually get over there though. All right, 
Oh boy, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. And there's the landing. All right, this thing has some programming. Oh, and then the wings pulled back. That's awesome. Okay, up next, Warhammer 40K. I'm actually not very familiar with Warhammer 40K, so I cannot speak to the accuracy of these builds, but we're starting off with the big blue orcs truck with even bigger pew pew on it by JJJ Lucky. Oh, that looks cool. Whoa, oh, this whole thing looks really cool. Does not drive very well oh no it's driving okay it just has super super slow acceleration oh look at that thing spin okay oh and then it fires oh that takes up a, that's a lar a long charge time spin fire okay and then of course we can aim the whole thing this is a massive turret really cool looking turret though all right and then up next by glomer uh space marines storm speeder Ooh. This has cool vibes as well. Oh, look at the rockets. Those rockets look great. And here's... Oh, and these engines. Oh, this was definitely made after the update. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can go up and down. We have all the controls for this thing. All right. Let's see what other controls we've got. Number one. Oh, yes. That's what I was waiting for. That looks so cool. And those guns. Oh, we can turn the turrets too? All right. Actually, I wasn't expecting that. All right. Really well designed on this thing. I mean, all of these are going to be really well designed. These are literally the best builds of every build contest. Okay, up next is Shield Art. This is the uh, build challenge that I actually chose the theme and chose the winners. So I already know the winners of this one. And of course, we've got the Nuke Star here by Dark Spark, uh, which has some really fun little controls here. We can put our hands up like that. And then I think we can also give a thumbs up on that hand, just like that. Not only have that one, but of course, We've got this one, which looks weird until the shields spawn in. And then it is a Pikachu. Got really clever use of the electricity to fit with the Pikachu theme. <laughs> and I like the ears too. So yeah, I'm not gonna spend too much time on these because I've already shown them on the channel. All right, up next is Spacebound contains two blueprints. So I'm assuming that these ones were uh, to go with a Spacebound update. So I'm actually, I'm just going to turn gravity off rather than keep transitioning between maps because we now have a gravity setting. So we're going to go zero G. So this is the space van by Hagbarto. You, you can, you see the name there. Super scrappy looking, excellent looking van though. Oh, super like, okay. The aesthetic of the classic looking kind of van, but with the super modern uh, technology on it. All right, and then up next is self-launching space shuttle by CrazyBird199. So this one's supposed to be spawned on Dune, which I'm pretty sure has like 0.57 gravity or something along those lines. So I'm just going to simulate the Dune gravity. All right, self-launching space shuttle. Let's press number one. Oh, look at that. Got a chirpo inside. Oh, oh, what's going to happen to the chirpo? Oh. Uh, was I not supposed to do that? I, uh-oh. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know if I was supposed to do it like this. There we go. That took a while. And there we go. And now we are a shuttle. Oh, look at them flipping off into uh, oblivion. Okay, up next we have Spooky, which I can only imagine was a Halloween theme. Uh, spooky Halloween Cart Ride. Also by what the h 3 ll This person has won a lot of challenges, apparently. Is this gonna work? Is this gonna work? Oh, I think it's working. I think I got it to work. Okay, it's a self-driving car. Here we go. I can't move my camera. Oh, it moves the camera for you. Ooh, this is creepy. The lighting. Oh, this is an experience. The smoke. Look at the smoke and the eyes. <gasps> what? Look at the face. That's actually creepy. And the eyes follow you. There's so many details. Oh my goodness. The floating eyes and the slime. What? I, I feel like I missed something else there too. I can only observe so much at once. <gasps> and then, wait, how did you do? Is that a decal? How did you do that? Is that? How did you do this door? Oh, <laughs> it's actually a jump scare. I'm actually confused about how the door was painted like that. Oh, there is a sandworm mouth decal. I've... I've completely ignored this. All right, up next is just an ordinary choast by Monsieur John 999 I don't know if this is supposed to be a nighttime or not. Uh, I'm going to do not nighttime. All right, so number one, a transform. Oh, and now it is a drivable little pumpkin. And then number two, to transform again. 
Oh my goodness. And then it's a little car. It is a creation within a creation within a creation. All right, the next theme is Wild West. First up is Wild West by Slim Shammy. Another diorama by Slim Shammy. I think Slim Shammy also did the cyberpunk themed one. All right, so I am I am just going to get into this is insane. How are you so good at making dioramas? It's like your thing. This is the detail at this scale is so crazy. Even like, how, how do you even get share? How do you, how do people spell words here? Are those tumbleweeds? Look at the tumbleweed decal. That's what? Look at the doors flapping with the vent. Like the vent decal makes perfect doors for the wild west. This is so good. Barber, we got a barber shop. Like is every letter available or are you just looking out? Oh, look at, no, it, these are Bs. That's a B and then this is a B, but it's like, cut off to make it an R and it totally works and it looks great. Man, these dioramas are very impressive. Okay, up next is Austin the Hover Train by Metal Burger. All right, so I think it was left control for autopilot. Whoa, whoa, the wheels look so cool. This is awesome. I kind of want to build a space train of sorts. A space train could be fun. I don't know what that means. I don't know what, what makes a space train a space train, but this thing is super easy to control. Uh oh, I don't know how to go back. Uh oh, oh, we're falling off. Uh, uh oh, this is bad. We're gonna go into the water. This isn't gonna be able to detect the water. Oh, we got a magnet on the back to attach to some cars. And we got a bell. Wait, this does? It does detect the water? It probably just has an altitude zero. Yeah, it has a zero altitude sensor. That's pretty a good fail safe there. This thing is really cool. And then we got, look at the controls up here. All right, next category is, oh, apparently Wild West 2. Apparently they, there is two Wild West ones. So we're going straight from Wild West to Wild West. So we're starting off with Back to the Future 3 Wild West Escape by Sketch Fox. Hit 88 miles per hour to travel back to the future from the old Wild West. All right, let's see if we can do it by the time we get to the end of this. Here we go. There we go, we're getting close, 80. Oh. I don't, I don't think we went back to the future. But I think we can also detach certain things. Oh, and there we go, now we can drive this by itself. Those wheels look pretty cool though, don't they? And then up next is Shoot by Darth Dragon 19 I'm assuming this is gonna be like a shoot em up target range thing. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, you gotta actually press the button. Uh, hold on. It's so hard to control. I'm just gonna have to wait here. There we go. Got that one. Now I need to get that one. There we go. The targets are so good. They're so well done. Uh oh, there we go. And then one more. Dang. There we go. I win. Uh oh. <laughs> my victory is death. All right, up next is devs. Okay. By Slim Shammy. Slim Shammy, is this another diorama? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Why are you so good at creating these things? This is just insane. Okay, I think I was supposed to get into the seat and press space. Oh, wait, what is going to happen? Whoa, how did you do this? How did you do this? How did you do that? Oh, there's camera block. 1.8, update, new. You made a of trailer for the update. New decals. Let's see, oh my goodness. This is a really awesome looking room. These transitions. New wheel. Let's see the new wheel. Oh, 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 okay. All right, oh, okay. Okay, interesting. Glue, oh, wait, tank. Oh, are these like fake? <laughs> these are fake update notes? New block, not gate. Thank you. I wish. I wish we had a not gate. A uh, one by four, one by three, one by two, one by one. There it is. One by one. Trailmakers 1.8. Oh, next, next. Uh, oh no, 12:01. So like a year, in a year. All right, and then up next for devs is the unidentified driving object. Whoa! Oh, whoa! 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 What? Wait, how does this? This thing, it works. It's like a one of those spinny things you use for board games where it's like, oh, what are you gonna land on? Hey, but this time it's like, what direction are you gonna go? It just goes where it points. Okay, up next is Overkill. So first we have the Bomb Cat, another H3LL 
submission. Ooh, this thing looks cool. Got left control. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. What? And then space. That's awesome. I've never thought to do this. And now the arrows control this thing. It is just a constant barrage of bombs. This is this is overkill. All right, then up next for overkill is the Atre Atreus CT-905 Space Carrier by Sergeant Claw. I hope this wasn't designed for space. By the looks of it, it doesn't have space. Oh yeah, it's not designed for space. Okay, good. Oh no, I wanted the controls. Okay, Q&E. Whoa! All right, that is, that's a bit overkill. Oh wait, it's got like planes? <gasps> We're gonna be able to detach planes? That was awesome. Oh, I blew myself up. Okay, there was a probably a bomb dropping button. Let me try that again. Oh, you got to hold down the button and look at that. That is a lot. All right, up next is self-destruct. Oh, this is another one that I picked. So as a refresher, we've got the magic trick by crazybird199. Just press space and the magician will do the rest. So you can see empty hat, nothing in the hat. And then a little bit of a bippity boppity magic. And then, of course, nothing suspicious happens. He looks in the hat. He got, he's got the Ooga eyes. And there's dynamite in the hat. Where'd the rabbit go? And then, just a normal miss missile launcher by Pixie Lottle. Nothing fishy going on here. All right, shift to ready the missile position. Of course, we can drive it around if we wanted to. And then, space to fire. <laughs> Wait, I don't remember this. Why don't I don't remember this one. I remember the magician one. Did I not actually look at the self-destruct challenge submissions? Did I just... Oh my goodness. That... That's really funny. That is really funny that it has this whole setup process with this missile, but then your vehicle is the missile and the missile just stays behind. That's comedy. That is comedy right there. All right, up next, automation. I do remember automation. I picked these winners. Okay. So first off is the F9 rocket by 23... So the crazy thing about it as I don't remember how to use it. All right, here we go. It's hands-free, I'm pretty sure. So it just goes up by itself. I'm gonna fast forward this whole process for you guys. And there you go. That was all 100% automatic. Goes up way off to the side drops the payload, then returns back over, navigates itself back over, and then lands perfectly. Absolutely mind-blowing. And then next up for automation, um, this one does not have a creator name. Hmm. But this thing, oh, I'm not even, I'm not pressing anything. Not pressing anything. Gonna just leave this be. All right, that, that clearly didn't, it didn't work that time. Hold on, I'm just gonna reset real quick. Oh, it was so close. It went too far and it got stuck right here. But I think you get the point. It, it eventually, it, if it, if everything just happens perfectly, it'll just bring this up and drop it off. And it is 100% automated. Unfortunately, we couldn't get a successful run this time. All right, the next category is balance. Ooh, this sounds like an interesting category. So first up is ATM by Rickness. All right, so this interpretation, we get to uh, check our ATM balance, apparently. All right, so we press the mouse button to insert the card, and then look at that, it says enter code. So, uh, 6969, six, nine, space to confirm. Balance is 1,000, oh no, I thought it was gonna be $1,000. Oh, it blew up. All right, let me enter a different code. All right, enter card, enter code. All right, let's do the most powerful code. One, two, three, four. Space to confirm, look at that. $1,000 balance and then left shift to take out the balance. Look at that, there we go, 10. Or $1,000, oh, $1,000. That is a super creative interpretation of the theme balance. I love the $1,000 bill. All right, up next in balance is Tightrope Walker by Musarelina Games. This is like one of those uh, cool little desk 
things, desk decorations that balances because of the counterweight down below. All right, up next is 80s. First, we've got the Pegasus class Hydrofoil by Zerp IO. They were a series of fast attack patrol boats and hi of hydrofoils from 1977 to 1993. All right, here we go. So we got boat mode. Oh, look at the propellers on the top. That's pretty cool. All right, and then one of these is going to be... Oh, here we go. This is hydrofoil mode. Yes. And now... We've got a hydrofoil. Oh, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Go back to hydrofoil mode. Yeah, and there, oh, this thing turns great as a hydrofoil as well. How does it actually turn? Just with, no, wait, is it just with, no, there has to be. It really feels like there's a uh, gyro assists somewhere. Ah, yes, there it is. I had a feeling, I had a feeling. I'm like, there's no way the fins are doing that by themselves. That's actually a pretty interesting piece of technology for that long ago. Then up next for the 80s is the EM50 Urban Assault Vehicle Stripes 1981, also by H3LL. Apparently from the 1981 film Stripes, it was built on a Palm Beach motorhome by GMC. It was a centerpiece in the film's plot. Basically an APV disguised as a motorhome loaded with weapons and tech. All right, man, look at this. This is cool. Okay, so we can open up the back. Let's go on in here. Looks like we got a lot of flotation devices in here or something, or I don't know what those are. Whoa, oh, there we go. Oh, whoa, 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 what's happening here? Oh, now we got some weapons. Oh, I just, oh, wow. Oh, that's so cool. I don't wanna, it keeps switching me to the camera automatically, but check out the, like the front too. Oh, and even more in the front, there's some more guns. That's cool too. All right, and the next category is pride. So this is Harvey Milk Deliveries. Harvey Milk was a pioneering LGBTQ plus activist and politician born in 1930. Learning something new today. He was California's first openly gay elected official. He was assassinated? What, that is crazy. How have I not heard this story before? All right, oh, look at the logo. That is, how did you design such a cool looking logo? Whoa, whoa. Okay, this thing is cool. What? It has like a legitimate transformation here. All right, it's got the rainbow makers and the rainbow flags and the boost and what is, what, wait, what dispenser is that on the top? It is, oh, it's a rainbow ball, a beach ball dispenser. This is, this is fabulous. This is a fabulous build. And look at the Chirpo passenger. It has a seatbelt on it. The decal with the seatbelt. That is super cool. Oh, okay. All right, bye. All right, then up next is the Pride Bus by Scumbanan11. All right, well, this is certainly a colorful scrap bus. All right, apparently there is a, like I, I'm gonna go on a first person here. I think there's a sensor on the side. There we go. So you can open up the door and hop on in and look at all the seats in here. This bus looks groovy on the inside. Oh, what is this? Oh, is that, what, what, what? This is where you deposit your pride tokens to enter the bus. You need to have uh, approximately three pride tokens is the fare to enter the pride bus. Oh, and I just realized when I drive around, it creates a, a wave, a rainbow wave. All right, full hybrid is the next category. Open faced boat witch of transformation, also by H3LL. So I guess the hybrid interpretation is it is a hybrid of multiple types of vehicles. For some reason, I thought it was gonna be like hybrid, like electrical vehicles and stuff, but no, this seems like a much more interesting way to go with hybrid. Wait, okay, what is the, is it? Oh, I was like, does it transform or not? Clearly it transforms. It is actually automatically transforming once you reach the water level. The folding mechanism is actually awesome. The water splash covered it all up, but going this way, Wow. And then up next in full hybrid is the flying hydrofoil car by Rickness. All right, so we got a car. That's fine. And then, oh, oh, apparently we, oh, this is a low rider. Look at that. Yeah. Do we, is it, is it automatic? Oh, wait, it said hydrofoil car. Is it a hydrofoil too? All right, it likes to be a dolphin in the water. All right, it does appear that the transformation was completely automatic. Oh, yeah, once it stops detecting the ground. I think. Oh, 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 I was just in a bad loop. It totally works now. Oh, I cannot turn very sharp like this though. All right, I'm gonna, oh no. All right, and we're in a bad loop again. All right, the next category is VTOL. And first up, we have North Star Vipers by Sniper Jet. Oh, whoa, this thing looks crazy. This thing is crazy. All right, uh, H for hover. Two to one, Vipers on station. There we go. Got some VTOL action going on. 
space to go Your up. Journey ends here, oh, oh, look at the the leg the leg animation. All right, go forward. Oh, this thing, this thing is really cool. I love those. I love those thrusters. Um, there's some animations we can do as well. So number one. Oh, opens up the cockpit. That's cool. Number two. The skies belong to me. <laughs> we have a waving animation. That's awesome. All right. Uh, number three. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Oh, is that like holding out your hand? I thought I was going to start doing this, but nope. Oh, very Italian. Very Italian. All right, and then number five. Oh, I don't know what number five is. Apparently it's ballerina mode. Skyward dive. Okay. That's what that was. All right, up next is the Lu thirty seven or the Lu thirty seven Manta for VTOL. This is by Lucrum, and these controls are very complicated. All right, I see why you call it the Manta. Is this really how it's supposed to stay right now? Oh yeah, there we go. Ooh, ooh, very cool design with the Manta inspired design. All right, so clearly we're in VTOL mode now. Look at that. We got turning and everything. Do we have? Oh, we got rockets. We got those guns. A lot of recoil. Number one. Oh, transfer. Oh, wait, wait, I wasn't ready. Oh, I pulled out of it. Now we are no longer in VTOL mode. All right. Um, number, I don't know what number four does. Oh, number four is ground fire mode. Oh, that is awesome. Ground fire is really satisfying. I don't know why I've like never done that on a build. I always just aim at the ground. Why do I do that? Then we can transform back into VTOL mode. Wow, this is actually, this is a really good really well done VTOL. All right. And then one final one. Gods only contains one blueprint, but also by Lucrum. Be not afraid. Be not afraid. Be not afraid. And this is probably the meme of a biblically accurate angel. And yes, be not afraid. This actually looks elegant, very graceful, very angelic, if you will, biblically accurate, angelic. Just, just guys. Be not afraid. Let's be not afraid right now. You ever think about being not afraid? All right. So, uh, there were like, this is extremely difficult, like extremely difficult to choose creations top three, but I have my very, very clear top one, like my top choice. This blew my mind more than everything else this is the most memorable one for me the diorama challenge by slim shammy this thing has more detail than any other creation i've ever seen like i just got to give props to this one this one blew my mind i didn't know that this was possible also like to be honest the the trailer the uh the devs trailer for the 1.8 also made by slim shammy like that was also really, really impressive and good as well. But I'm going to try to keep three different creators in my top three. The next one I really, really enjoyed uh, was this one. The Totally Normal Giant Pumpkin by Lucrum. Like first, this already, the vines look really, really cool. But just, I did not expect those vines to not only become the shape of wheels, but become functional is kind of crazy all right and then my number three pick is the spooky halloween cart ride by what the h3ll i'm gonna keep saying it that way there's only a handful of creations that uh i was like what mind blown and this was one of them here we go i mean it's got like the self-driving car it's got the automatic camera controls that are timed at the right moments it's got all these details in the exhibits it's got sound effects that sound great for the light going out. And then it's got, oh, I just, I didn't even, I don't even know if I noticed the walls were breathing. We're in like a, an esophagus. We're essentially coming out of a mouth maybe. And then there is the jump scare, of course. So yeah, that was a very, very detailed creation and I loved it. So those are my top three, in my opinion. Uh, based on what you saw in this video, let me know what would, you, what would your top three have been? Put that down in the comments below. It's probably completely different than mine. And uh, that's kind of the whole fun of it, is seeing who's going to end up getting in the most people's top threes. So those are my top three picks. But now we got to go over and see what the ultimate winner actually is. And that is going to happen on a live stream that is happening on a different time in this recording. So... Thanks to the power of editing, we can jump over there. But before I go over there, you should tell me what your top three picks would have been. Let me know down in the comments below. All right, and let's teleport.
<laughs> All right, it's time to reveal who ended up. It was a close race between a lot of builds, um, but there was one winner in the end. Who was it? I'll tell you. <laughs> I, I think who I know. Who was it? I, I have a hunch. When are we going to find winner. out? Tell me who it was. <laughs> okay. And next episode. I feel like everyone are getting a bit <laughs> tired here as well. Please, um, I'm dying. I'm Tell dying us. for the toilet. Tell, Tell us. us the winner. The winner, <laughs> the winner of the year 2023 is Metal Burger. And oh. it's Trapezoid. Oh, of course, the it's Trapezoid. Uh, it is. There was a lot of votes going on. It was very close. Trapezoid's for everyone. But in the end, this build one by one vote wow the chirpasoid by by middleburger congratulations middleburger well Middle we owe you a muck hopefully this time it won't get lost in brazilian customs like last time oh uh, no. our, our, our goal is to crash the server right <laughs> I, I, I think it's, it's uh, definitely I, gonna happen i think it's working everyone get in <laughs> turbosoid and just start spamming rockets Woo! okay gunfire and while we're just completely destroying each other and the server here i just want to thank you, everyone here for joining <laughs> us uh thank yeah. you for having us yeah, yeah thanks, thanks for having us, us. it was a pleasure it's so much of fun of course of course too many oh no there are congratulations metal burger <laughs> yeah congratulations to all of the winners of the whole year I'll there was some uh, really cool builds it was really tough too yeah. it was really tough Hard yeah. to pick the best from a series of the best. But uh, I guess we're, we're doing the same time next year if you're down. All right, I think I might be around. I hope you are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't plan on disappearing. So <laughs> let, let, let me just check my calendar. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, 21st December 2024. I can't. Oh, I have mm. to actually rewind yeah. the tape that day. On the on the 20th of December next year, I have a uh, go into a national park and get lost for seven days. <laughs> it's, oh. Now we're just gonna. Uh, shut it down and thank you all for tuning in and I'll see you next year. Bye. Bye. Merry Bye. Christmas. Happy holidays. Yay.